Well, hello everyone, and welcome to Easy Mini Painting with me, Christopher Ridge. And I figured that we would go ahead and paint the Serpent People that come with the Path of the Serpent expansion pack to Mansions of Madness. I think that uh, we're just going to try to go by their tile art, which is like a strange sort of mint green, kind of yet like or like an olive green sort of thing, together with some bright pinkish purplish sort of colors the other thing that i did too was i just replaced the bases with some just standard one inch bases like that that's a personal preference though i just don't really like the bases that come with the mansions of madness monsters but that's me so i just put them on some standard bases but why don't i just stop talking and why don't we just get started here so the very first thing that I did was a solid layer of angel green over all three of them. You can do that as either a spray primer or you can just do it as a sort of like brush on base coat like I did here. Next up, we're gonna take out some scaly hide and we're gonna do a few things with this. The first of which is that I'm just gonna go ahead and paint the spear shafts and the spear sort of like grips here. Uh, you can use any brush for it, doesn't really matter. You don't need to do anything super detailed here. Just a little something like that, and we're gonna do that with all three. Ah, focus, please. Just a little something like that, and we're gonna do that with all three of them here. All right, and then as soon as we just get the bases, the you know, the a base coat for each of the spears on there, I'm gonna rinse off that brush. And then next up, I'm gonna take out a dry brush, and I'm actually gonna go ahead and go over a majority of the body with it. So I'm just gonna use a dry brush like this. Uh, just get a decent amount of paint on there, but wipe off most of it because of the dry brushing. And yeah, just kind of go uh, sort of vertically up and down the torso because we're going to do the torso first. I'm also going to do that same thing with the inside of their hoods because I think that they are probably just nice and minty green, sort of. Toki Toki. Toki, you're in my light, and your tail is right in front of the camera. Toki, don't you sit down on that paint. And then next up, the last thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to go over basically the entirety of the tail and uh, the sort of under layer here. So, yeah, right underneath the sort of like tassels hanging from his belt kind of thing. Just go over that really quickly. And then just go over a majority of the scales. We're going to do a little something else too for parts of it, but we'll address that later. So, yeah, the big thing that you want to get is just get the, the chest, the inside of the hood, like so. The inside of, like, the sort of cobra hood. And the, the entire, like, lower half of the body. All right, and there we go. That just gives a lot of definition to the tail and the torso and all that good stuff. So we're just going to do that for all three of them. Just going to get the insides of their hoods, torsos, and bottom half of their tails. Or bodies, I guess. By the way, when you are going over the bottom half of the tail, yeah, the, like the torso, the, the, the tassels, and the belt right there, don't worry about it, because we're going to go over all of those with a different color later on. So when you are going over it, don't be afraid to just get your brush on there just a little bit. It'll be A-OK, -okay, no big deal. All right, and there we go. That just kind of gets the, the basic base coats of our snake men there, our serpent folk. Next up, we're gonna have some fun with some Warlock purple right there, like a like a nice pink color, because I think that, you know, the picture here seems to indicate that there's just a little bit of sort of a pink tone on their tail, just a little bit, and on their chest, and their hands, and on their faces. So what we'll do first is we'll just take a standard brush, and we'll go ahead and paint the tassels that are hanging from the belt, just complete solid coat. So just a little bit something like that, you just get the nice pink tassels on there. We're going to do the same thing with the sort of hair bunchy thing. I think it's hair, maybe it's just more tassels. It's it's hard to see because the spear is in the way and it's hard to get the light in there. But he's got, I mean you can you can even see it on the uh, on the artwork here. Which is that the tassels hanging from his, from his hair, maybe it's hair, I don't know. Uh, those are also pink so we'll just go over those really quickly. All right, so there we go. So then that just gets the sort of like hair hanging from the sides of their heads like that. And last up, using that Warlock Purple, I'm gonna go back to the dry brush. And we are going to, like I pointed out, like their arms and their hands 
have a sort of like pinkish tone to them. So we'll just dry brush this warlock purple over their hands and arms and the backs of their, uh, you know, their, their backs and that kind of thing. And that will just add a nice extra little sort of like creepy pink color to everything. All right, so what we did there was I just sort of dry brushed the entirety of the chest and the arms, basically everything sort of like arm level for him, including his hands and wrists and that kind of thing. And I did his face and then the entire back of the cobra hood. And then I also just went over the tail just a little bit like kind of on that really big sort of hump in the center of the coil like that, because it's a similar sort of thing in the artwork like so, you can kind of see. So just do that for all three of them. All right, there we go. And the last thing that I'm gonna do because I forgot to do it is I'm gonna get the, uh, the, the sort of feather things on the very tops of their heads like that. All right, and that's pretty much all that we wanna do with that warlock purple color. It's a very, very striking color, and I think that the contrast with the green is a very interesting one. Then using weapon bronze, I'm gonna go ahead and paint over all of their belts and bracers. Like, look for anything that just might have that sort of metallic sort of texture to it. Focus, please. Uh, look for anything that might have that sort of metallic texture. So I'll start with these belts. All right, there we go. So after we get that belt on there, we might as well knock out the bracers that they're wearing because they've got pretty prominent bracers like on their forearms. All right, so that gets the bracers like on their arms, their forearms, and they've also got some like on their uh, on their triceps there. And I think that coming around their bicep, I think that's really supposed to be like a leather strap. But I think it's going to be easier if you just sort of go over that with the same bronze color, just for the sake of simplicity. And then we'll also get the part that's holding a sort of like feather on top of his head. And then we'll also get the one that's sort of holding his, tear, his hair, kind of, like a, kind of like a little hair tie thing little hair bracer, like that. And that's pretty much all that you're gonna do with the weapon bronze color. So you're gonna get the belt, gonna get the bracers, gonna get the parts holding the feathers and the tassels, and then that's it. So just do that for all three of them. All right, and that's looking pretty cool. So that gets all of the nice bronze color on all of our serpent people. So I'm gonna rinse my brush off. So after that, we're gonna take out some gun metal and we're gonna use that for the swords that they're wielding as well as the spearheads. And that should be a pretty straightforward little task. There you go. That's all that you really need to do. Just get a simple layer of gun metal over the spearhead and the sword, the little blade like that. Just make sure to get the sort of handle that sort of cups on the underneath of the left side of his wrist right there and a little bit on the other side of that too. Not too much, but uh, yeah, it is there. That's just the only thing to be aware of. So yeah, just do that for all three of them. All right, there we go. So now we've just got all of the gun metal and we're in the home stretch here. So we're gonna take out some skeleton bone and we're gonna use that on the fangs that they have, although they're not super prominent. I would say just make it a point to use a uh, small itty bitty detailed brush for this because the fangs are kind of on the underside of the mouth and they're not like itsy bitsy teeny tiny, but they're still small. So you might just use a, a, a detailed brush. And I think that this skeleton bone color will be a good color for these fangs. There we go, just a little bit like that. You get the fangs underneath there. Yeah, like I said, from, from like a top down perspective especially, but even when you look at it just from the side, those fangs don't really stand out that much. You have to kind of be looking at it from like the bottom almost in order to, in order to even see it. But that's okay, no big deal. All right, and there we go. So now we've got fangs on all of them. Very last thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna do our dry brushing thing one more time. So we'll just take out our dry brush, get a bunch of it under our bristles, wipe it off, and then we'll just go over the spear shaft. And that will just sort of add a little bit of a fairness to the spear shaft. 
There you go, just a little bit something like that. It doesn't make a huge difference, but it just, you can kind of see the side-by-side -side comparison here. It just adds a little bit of a sort of like fairness to it that we kind of want. At some point, I apparently got some of that bronze color on that spear by accident a little bit. That's okay, I didn't even notice, but uh, yeah, with the dry brush like this going over it, not even noticing, no big deal. And finally, I'm going to take out some bright jungle green, and we're going to use that for their eyes. So we'll use a teeny tiny detail brush for that. Like that, just like that. And we get their nice, creepy, glowing green eyes there. All right, and now we've got their eyes on there. The last thing that we're gonna do, and I think this might be kind of like a kind of like a risk-taking sort of thing, but I think it'll be fine. What I'll do is I'll just use that same color and that micro detail brush, and we'll just go over their tongues. And I don't know, maybe that'll give their tongues a nice sort of creepy, wet, venomous look. Maybe it'll just make it so that you know you really don't want to get bitten by these suckers because they're gonna fill your veins up with venom, and you don't want that. A little something like that. Yeah, like I said, it's just kind of a weird effect, but I think that it will turn out to be pretty cool. So let's go with it. There we go. And now we've got most of all of the major stuff associated with the miniatures down. We're just gonna go over them with a quick shade. Why don't we make use of some of that flesh, wa flesh wash? A little bit of a fairer, almost like kind of red tint, and I think that this will give it a really nice fleshy, organic look. You can use any brush that you like. I'm just gonna use some big fat no-name brush like this. I'm gonna make sure that uh, everything is completely dry, specifically the tongues that we just did, because that's probably nice and nice and wet still. Uh, but what I'll do is I'll just take out my brush and I'll just dip it in a little bit of water, mix it up a little bit, and that will just kind of thin it down a little bit, and then just go to town. Just go over the entirety of each miniature with this flesh wash. All right, and there we go. I think that that just kind of brings it all together really nicely there. That's got that nice sort of slick, gross, nasty serpent-like look to it. So I'm just gonna do that to all of them and then let them completely dry. And that is actually it. The very last thing that I did there was I took some matte black and I just touched up the bases just because I had a little bit of green, a little bit of that pink sort of like dusty residue from the dry brushing that I did on the bases. So I just touched them up really quickly. And again, I like to use just the standard bases like that. I don't really like the monster bases that come with Mansions of Madness. And that is the actual tile art that you can sort of compare it to. And as you can see, I think that we got the color scheme pretty much down. I think that that's pretty much the same thing right there. So that will be it. Oh, and then the very last thing that I did was I just took some matte varnish and I just went over those entirely with a, a single coat of, of varnish just to give it a little bit of a longer lifespan, bring the colors out a little bit, make it all look a little bit nicer. And that's it. So if you liked the video, everybody, go ahead and throw it a like. If you want to see the rest of the Path of the Serpent monsters painted, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. But that's pretty much it, so I'm going to let you get to it. Have a good night, everyone. We'll see you next time.